Hey everyone and welcome to another video in Arizona. Yes, I'm still in the same hotel room, still got the same pretty backdrop, but in this video I really want to talk about all the amazing hiking I've been doing here since I got here. <sighs> yeah, I've fallen in love with Arizona for its beauty and how dry and I don't, but whimsical it is here. It's so hard to describe, but I'm really glad I filmed some of the hikes so that I can show you how beautiful it is. By the way, if you haven't seen the video I released prior to this one, go ahead and watch it first because it'll make a lot more sense why I'm in Arizona. I'll leave it in the description box down below. I have been living in this hotel working in Prescott, Arizona for months now. <laughs> and any chance I get, I go on a hike either around the Prescott area or in the Sedona area. When I first arrived here, uh, I was told that there was some good hikes around the Prescott area, specifically uh, this landmark called Thumb Butte, which is really pretty, and I can see it right outside my hotel window. And I've hiked there, and then there's another landmark here that's really beautiful, and it is Granite Mountain, which is a uh, mountain that's covered in rocks and the Granite Mountain Hotshot crew um, named their crew after the mountain here. I've climbed that. Another beautiful area here in the Prescott area is a lake called Watson Lake. It's so beautiful, especially during sunset. And I have seen the lake during sunset. I've walked around it. I've played disc frisbee around it. That was fun. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. And I've also rock climbed around this lake. I'm so grateful that um, my friends took me out climbing. I've never been rock climbing outdoors, just once in a gym. And I love it. I love it so much. It was so much fun to rappel and do... What did I do? I think I did half of uh, 5.8, two 5.8s, some right routes next to each other, one of which was really fun to climb for me at first because I could grab stuff, and then there was a slab portion, which I'm not used to, just putting my rock climbing shoe on nothing and hoping it'll support me when I stand up. And then the other route we did was a big crack climb and that was really fun trying to shimmy up a, a crack in the rock so very very fun um, times memorable times around Watson Lake outside the Prescott area is Sedona and I didn't even know Sedona was a tourist destination was a hikers destination of dreams but it is <laughs> and I have been on several hikes there over the past few months which have just made being here so wonderful and so exciting. So the first clip I'm gonna show you is a hike that I did within weeks of being here, so a while back. And I set off to go on my very first hike in Sedona and I was very excited. But first, I had to stop at a smoothie chain here in the Prescott area called Robex and get my obsession for a while, which was an almond delight bowl. <laughs> Mmm, this is one of the bowls. So good. It's kind of mushed because she overfilled it, which is fine by me. <laughs> it looks really good. So I'm in Arizona. I'm in my rental car and I have the day off today, so I'm gonna go to Sedona. I really want to do some hikes around there. Well, I can probably only do one at a time, but I've been told they're just amazing hikes there and if I base any hike that I choose will be phenomenal. So I've picked a hike. I have no idea really anything about it, just that it's a good hike in that area. So I'm on my way. I think I'm going to be going over this mountain pass. Well, the mountain here is the mountains here don't really look like mountains to me, but um, it is a mountain, and I'm going to be going through this really cool mountain town called uh, Jerome. It's like an old mountain town and all the houses are like on the side of a cliff or something so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I'm just really looking forward to finally being able to explore this area. Work has been crazy lately and it's just so nice to finally have a day off. So uh, I'm gonna hit the road and uh, see what I can see. <laughs> Adventure's the best part about 
life, <laughs> in my opinion. And I just love that through my job, I can travel to different places. And now I'm in Arizona, never thought I'd be here. The only time I've ever been to Arizona was to go to the Grand Canyon. Um, so I haven't seen any of the rest of the state. So really looking forward to checking it out. Let's go. Okay, I just found the last parking spot. Oh, it's taking me forever to figure out how to get parked uh, here in Sedona. It, it's pretty, pretty popular trails. So I think I'm doing Soldier Pass. We'll see how it goes, but it's it's so beautiful here in a really deserty, red rock kind of way. But I'm really looking forward to just being outdoors and yeah, gonna give this hike a try. Red rock secret mountain wilderness. Definitely a red rock kind of place. There's one spiky little cactus. Ouch, that looks really needle sharp. <laughs> Okay, fast forward months <laughs> and I have been hiking as often as I can. And in Sedona, I did this beautiful hike uh, around Bell Rock and I think it's Courthouse Butte. But it was so beautiful. The sun was setting, it was quiet, and it was this really long loop around both rocks. At one point, I was just standing there looking at the view and a coyote trotted by with its tongue lolling around and a big smile on its face and it was just such a memorable moment that I won't forget. I've also gone on a hike to Chicken Point, and I don't remember the name of the trail, the loop that I did, um, but it was kind of a mountain biker trail, and all of these really experienced mountain bikers kept going by, and that was really cool to see. There were a lot of pink Jeeps around <laughs> to off-roading, and it was fun to see all the tourists uh, like bouncing around inside the jeeps as they went over big rocks. I wanted to go to Chicken Point because it well the trail was just phenomenal but also there's a white line um, in Sedona that mountain bikers like to ride but this white line is like way up on a cliff um, so I was kind of hoping maybe I would see some adrenaline junkies trying it while I was on that um, trail but no luck probably because it was a super windy, kind of cloudy day when I went. Very recently, I went to West Fork Creek, which was amazing. It was actually my birthday um, that I got off from work, luckily, and then I spent all day hiking. And then I had <laughs> this kind of splurgy, fancy dinner afterwards uh, with beautiful views of Sedona. And it was so kind. Um, the couple sitting next to me, they saw I was eating alone for my birthday. And they kept giving me glasses of their wine and offering to pay for my dinner. I 
I ended the evening with a really good dessert called a prickly pear cheesecake. So prickly pears, that's a thing in Arizona that I didn't know existed. I think in the fall, um, the ca certain species of cacti around here, they produce a fruit, prickly pear, must be a fruit. And everybody around here um, goes around and picks them all and makes like jams or just eats eat them raw or cook them into things and it's really cool and I'm really sad I'm gonna miss out on this because I doubt I'll still be here in the fall. <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed this video of me hiking around in Arizona and just being incredibly happy. So my work here in Arizona might be coming to an end soon, I'm not sure. So far I've now worked 52 days so we'll see We'll see how much longer I'm here. I think this hotel is considering or has made me like a gold member and I think I'm really close to being a diamond member but who knows if, um, if I'll actually stay here that long. <laughs> yeah, not sure what my next adventure will be and of course I will uh, keep you informed. You can tag along for the ride along with me. So stay tuned for future videos. So see you next time. Bye!